everybody. Happy Friday. Chris McNaughty, Lynn for all over Colorado. Come, of course, with my Friday market update and pretty good couple weeks for inventory. So we're starting to see inventory climb a little bit. We're still significantly below where we'd like to be on a seasonally adjusted rate compared to normal. And we're still below last year from an inventory perspective. And we're still operating at about 25 to 30% less listings coming onto the market than we saw last year. So the market does remain very tight. Buyer demand is flat. Inventory, like I said, is creeping up a little bit. So a little bit uh, more leverage in the buyer's position, but it really is, you know, specific to that property, that neighborhood, etc. I'm starting to see some price drops coming online. Unfortunately, more has to do with either a mispriced property to begin with or a property that just isn't that marketable. But uh, we are getting close to that time of year where we start to see a little bit more price drops. So price drops can be graphed out seasonally. And we have more of a price drop season, at least most years we do, that is in the late summer through the fall. So hopefully we see some more price drops come online for you guys this year. I don't think we'll see what we saw last year because we saw a lot of price drops last year. I don't think we're going to see that again this year just with inventory being so tight. But I could be wrong. Who knows? That would be great if I was wrong because you guys would have a lot more options and a lot more leverage. But on other news, we had the big Fed meeting this last week. Of course, everyone knows the Fed Reserve raised rates, which was prime rate. That was Fed rate, uh, Fed funds rate. They hit the highest in 22 years. So, ouch. While immediately that did not impact mortgage rates. So, mortgage actually went down for a few hours. And then Thursday morning came and there was all kinds of positive economic news that came out, including stronger than expected GDP growth, including uh, unemployment claims that were better than expected. And so that actually pushed uh, mortgage rates and bonds in general up. In fact, we saw the 10-year treasury climb up over 4% in the last 24 hours. We have not seen that since uh, late last year. So that's not good news for mortgages. That's definitely pushing interest rates back over 7%. Good news is, of course, we'll still have options that that beat that market. But when uh, you know you have that kind of upward pressure on the ten-year Treasury, when you have that upward pressure on the bond market, unfortunately, it's just going to have a negative impact on mortgage rates. So, if you have any questions about financing a home, please give us a call. Let us know. If you like the video, click like. Have an awesome Friday.